Hello everyone, welcome to Napoleon Total War, the Russian campaign. We continue where we left off. Now, you can see here that what we're trying to do is we're trying to build up forces in this area here. Now, the reason for that is because I don't trust the ever-expansionist Prussians, even though we are allied with them. Now, options. Options for further growth. Now, if we look here, you can see that the Ottoman Empire is unfriendly. We are trading with them. And if we look here, you can see they're allied with the French Empire, the Swiss Confederation, and the Kingdom of Italy. So, the Kingdom of Spain there and if we look here you can see the Bavatian Kingdom of Italy Swiss Confederation so we're already at war with those guys now that means then that we could consider pushing our boys down here to this lovely area and start pushing the Ottomans out of Europe which is the direction we're going to want to go. We're going to want to go down for Istanbul and hold it and keep it held. If we can push the Ottomans out, um, now bear in mind that that will also bring some relief to the Austrians because the Austrians are at war with them as well. And obviously you've got the French Empire up there. So we've still got some forces sniffing around here. So hopefully... What we can do is we can get those guys. So we've got some Minsk. Here we go. Here's Mikhail. Now he's a little low on numbers. But we could conceivably use him to take Bavaria. At least stop the French from moving out of that area. And then, if need be, we could continue to sort of push through that way. Now, part of the reason for that is that we want to stop any expansionist intentions of the Prussians. They'll be held by our Russian forces here. And let's see. What have we got in there? Not very good. See, those are militia, which I'm not a big fan of. But we do have August von Benigsen, a count, no less. And he is going to sort of stay in that area. I don't know, we might move him up. These guys could always consider, uh, conceivably go up to there. But the point is we want to stop the Prussians from growing too much. Now, let's see, because... What I'm wondering is whether or not it's worth bringing this guy from Minsk, building up his numbers, and bringing him... No, we don't need to bring him here. We just need to get these guys into there. Because those guys will be our first attack, I think. So, you can see we here, we've got... We've got horse artillery, which is good. Foot artillery, I'm less of a fan of. Lights, standard musketeers. And these guys are also standard musketeers. Now, I was looking to get them up to pressure, but what I might do is I'm going to move them into there. Because I want this army to be as powerful as it possibly can be for our attack into the Ottoman Empire. Now, you've also got those guys who are going to go into there as well. Now... That's another foot artillery. Artillery, artillery. Yep. And. See, that's not a very good rep um, recruitment point there. What we really need is a good recruitment point. Sort of close to the enemy's area, but not too close. Now, here obviously I think little Tatari is going to be the place. Now, let's see. Uh, 
So I apologise if the background noise is a little high today, guys. I do have a fan heater on in the background. Just to put a little bit of a punch of warm air into the building. Now, let's see. So these guys here... Yeah, not great for recruitment. So, we've got 34. Um, and this is going to be, I would say our main area for recruitment. So I think next we'll do a barracks. Now the advantage of that, you can see Hazars, more Musketeers, Cossack Cavalry, Ulans, and Jaegers, along with additional research. Now let's have a look at our monetary situation. You can see there, 3,570. So it's not too bad. Now obviously, one thing to bear in mind is that that trade income is going to go down. Um, because of the Ottoman Empire. We're going to lose 705 of that. So, that's unfortunate, but it's one of those things. Now, that's another thing. What we need to do is we need to go to the minor nations and see if any of these guys can trade. No, none of them can trade. Oh, I don't know. The Kingdom of Sardinia may be able to. Okay, good. And Sicily. So let's get a trade agreement in there. Good. And who else has the ability? So nobody else there has the ability to trade. Where's Naples? Naples. Naples is down there. Okay. Württemberg is there. Yeah, that's the Austrian Empire there. And the French Empire right in the centre. So, what we might need to consider doing is using these guys to take out Bavaria. Now, the only drawback is that I need my spy in that place because I want to be able to check to see what levels of army he has. So there we go, we'll get this gentleman to infiltrate there. Good luck. Now, the other spy, if you look here, he's in East Prussia. And he's got quite a walk to go. He's going down towards Vienna and down towards Munich in Bavaria. So these guys here we'll have to wait to recruit more but I would like to get that army up to a full size now gentlemen gentlemen good let's see how our research is going we are currently researching national debt which will give us minus five upkeep and plus five to town wealth for our region which is good now conscription Increases the region by one, okay. Um, but we're going to need that in order to build the barracks. So that will probably be the next one. Diamond formation. Fire in advance. Improve coppering for naval units, which will be helpful. Because one thing we could conceivably do is after we're dealing out, we could always send them down to Spain and attack through the bottom of Spain and up into France. But for the time being, we shall end the turn and see what happens. Little spy go for a wander. The French Empire. Always got to be one to watch. Yeah, our Vienna. Now, let's see. Oh, could it be that they've taken that barracks back? That would be helpful if they have. Konigsberg in East Prussia. And Warsaw and Danzig in those areas. So let's see, Danzig obviously making up Poland later on near World War II, that sort of era. I mean, I still can't forget playing uh, Empire Total War and uh, Poland-Lithuania invading Scotland. It was quite a, quite a bit of a shock to the system to see that, that's for damn sure. 
Okay. So we've done more recruitment there. Some hussars. And here, this gentleman has been detected. Which is fine. Because all he's doing is he's walking through here. Now. They attack there, but they didn't get very far. Let's move him up to there. Ooh. In fact, even better. So we're going to attack with 2,000 men, but we'll be supported by 4,800. So we'll have to try and hold them off as best we can until the Austrian reinforcements arrive. Let's give it a go, shall we? It's going to be interesting. Right, so quite an open field by the looks of it. And kind of ironic, as soon as you turn off the fan heater, you think, oh yeah, that was well, nice and warm, and well, now it's getting too warm, and then you turn it off, and it's like, okay, it's getting too cold. You just can't win. Never mind. So. Here we are. Hmm. This is going to be a difficult battle. What I think we're going to do is we're going to go on to the defensive And essentially wait it out until the reinforcements arrive. So let's see. Here's our grenadiers. There's our horse RT, which really should move up. Okay, we'll put them there. And then what we'll do. So we'll have two of these guys, and they'll follow up with them, and assist. Okay. Actually, we'll put one over here. And then, we'll have three regiments on one side, two regiments on one side. And another regiment on the other. Now, also, the Cavalleria. On one side, as you know all too well, my favourite tactic, obviously, for having horses on the sides there. Now, this is going to be interesting. Let's get underway. So get those two to run. Get these guys to move fast as well. Ah. Reinforcements. Oh, fantastic. Attacking from the side. Just what we need. Awesome. Thank you, Austrians. I love the Austrians. Fantastic. Run, fellas, run. And Limbaugh. Ooh, sliding off the horse like that. I've dismounted the horse like that. It's fun. In fact, uh, I spent 26 years riding horses on a regular basis. Used to be able to do all the Jim Carner stuff, you know, vaulting onto a horse at canter and all that kind of stuff. Obviously, now I'd need a Shire horse to carry me, but that's a different discussion entirely. Actually, what we'll do is we'll put these guys here. Right, these guys can stay there, go into square. These guys can go into square as well. Look at that. Fine Russian boys. Look at them. Brave souls, one and all. And we, what we are going to do is we're going to try and go against the norm that has been for the Russian armies, um, as I will not throw away lives, which, let's face it, you look at things in history and they've been very, very casual with the awesome number of lives. Armed um, citizenry, how lovely. Hello. Let's put you there. And let's get these guys up. So, it looks like uh, Clippity Clops hadn't moved yet, so we'll move them up to here. And we'll put these other Clippity Clops up here to support. And look at that. Australian cavalry straight into the fray. 
those are armed citizenry, so what we might be able to do is get them, oh goodness me, to pile into the side of our little armed citizenry group. These guys are moving up, these guys are staying close to protect the cannons. These guys here. Get these guys to run into position. Look at that, firepower. Glorious stuff. Let's see, what are they? French garrison? Yeah. Oh god. Let's move these guys over here. Push them over there. This is the bit where we're going to be trying to hold as best we can. Enemy general killed. Which reminds me, where's our boy? Let's put him over to here. So, armed numbers on one side is holding. These guys holding as well. These guys as well. Move those guys very quickly that way. Good, they're all breaking. Hopefully my Austrian comrades will come and assist shortly. guys are readjusting their numbers. Actually, let's put them into canister. Yes, they're just within canister range. That's good. That's what we were after. Let's see. How are boys doing? Losing slightly. Oh, God, that's not good. Let's get them out of there. Let's get our other guys over the far side. Down here. And into the back of the militia garrisons. These guys doing their best to defend. Come on, boys. You can do it. Oh dear, that's not good. Right, so we've broken those guys away and we've got cannons appearing from there. A good thing. Yep, there we go. That's looking good. These guys doing their best to hold as they can. Make that map bigger. I forgot about that. That could be a weak area. Do these guys have the ability to chuck the nades? Swiss grenadiers, that's always going to be dangerous. Good. These guys are getting involved. Come on, boys. Send these guys over to that lot. We're still trying to hold as best we can. Those guys are holding that section away from the French cavalry. That's going to be a problem. Glorious victories, huh? Ooh. It's soon to be yours. We'll have to wait and see. Where's our other cavalry? Good. Cavalry's broken them. Let's get them into the center and start ripping them apart. Right, where are my boys again? Over here. Straight into the back of the French. Okay, maybe not. Oh, okay, here we go. Hello, boys. No running for you. 
slice and dice. That's what we're all about. These guys. Militia garrison. Appear to be moving towards us. Let's get them out of the way. See them taking pot shots at my boys. And get them over there. Actually, what we'll do is we'll drag them a further away from the rest of the battle. Should give them a massive problem. Right, what can we do here? Yeah, they're breaking. These guys can start moving up. Get these guys in the center. Get these guys moved up to this dry riverbed. And get these guys moved up as well. Get these guys charged, the last remaining, the last few remaining soldiers. Over here. Avoid the Austrians, please. What are these guys doing? Oh, they're breaking. Here we go. Get them running into position. And get these guys into position as well. Change these guys back to standard ball. Cut down some of these fleeing legions. Let's try and do as much damage to them as we can. many want this army you guys can stop firing we'll unlimber you because I don't want to take the chance of friendly fire on those guys go on guys keep going right, let's get um, these guys along here into there. Don't ride on there, you fool. Slice some dice, a lot of them. Do the death blow as best we can to these numbers. We'll settle for that. That actually went as I hoped it would. Which is surprising really considering, as you well know me, battle victory. Hurrah. Now, if we liberate it, no, we shall peacefully occupy. Thank you. Region captured, Bavaria. Agent detected, Dmitry Dudov, or whatever his name was. Okay. So that's a good sign. We've now got a little spot here 
in the center where we can start doing some repairing now that might be worth us investing in because of its central location but that building that up as a central location is a really good idea now manufacturing or gunsmith gunsmith will increase the re uh, reduce the recruitment costs and minus one happiness but the manufacturing will give us a lot of wealth hmm I'm going to do that one because we're going to have like a manufactory, so to speak. And obviously there we go, musketeers. Fantastic. Thank you, Austrians. You gentlemen are wonderful. I greatly appreciate it. That's a small army which we do not need to deal with, or do not need to worry about, I should say. So, that, I would say, is quite a good start for this episode. Now... Hmm. What to do now, I wonder. What I think we need to do... And num money's looking okay. So I think... That we need to start doing some recruiting. Hmm. And we need to start doing some of this. So... That's bought. Let's start recruiting as many of those lovely fellows as we can. And they'll be into that region capital. And then we can <clears throat> make a jump across that bridge. Now, this gentleman here, what I think we might do, put him into there. Now, how many have we got coming out of there? about three or four or five wasn't it yeah so we could conceivably just send these guys into here like that to go blat that hasn't even been built so that's a good thing for us to go for now one thing that i think i made a mistake on on the last on the austrian campaign was asking my allies to come and join my battle um so what i'll do is when i eventually go after the Ottomans, I will not ask my allies to assist me. Because it doesn't matter if all their allies assist, because we're already at war with all the other people that they mentioned anyway. So, you know, these are details that we'll not worry about. So, let's see. There's that very small army, which we could conceivably have a pop at. Now, you can see there that what we can also do, now we've got that location in Bavaria, the lovely Munich, we can then start recruiting more of these fellows and bolster up this army into a force to be reckoned with while our numbers recover, which is a good thing. Now, so around money, money's good. Let's look at this. Of course, Spain still hostile, French Empire hostile. We're already trading with the United Kingdom. Um, anybody else in here? No, we're trading. We're already trading. And, yeah, those guys hurt us anyway. So, screw them. Okay. Let's end the turn, I think. Now, it might be a little late to bring him down there, but it doesn't matter. It's good to have a spy in that area. Oh, hello. Now, obviously, because we are a landlocked power at the moment, we're not really that worried about naval requirements. We'll worry about it once we've dealt with the Ottomans, maybe. We'll have to see. But one thing we've got to do is we've got to keep an eye out on which of these guys gets the bigger, because they could become a threat to us in the same way that the Prussians became a threat to us in the Austrian campaign. Um, but I think... That may have been because we took out France quite early. So we'll have to see what happens there. If we leave France in, then it may give us more options and may give them more things to worry about. And then we can slowly sort of creep away and take a lot of this stuff here. There we go. So Dimitri's detected again, but he is in friendly areas. What's this? 
Workers on strike in Bavaria. Okay. So what we'll do in the lovely Bavaria is we will exempt them from tax for the time being. And we will put in a magistrate's office and a barracks. And we will then do some recruitment of these gentlemen. That's all we can do for the moment, but it does no matter. What's this? Letter of demands. Bavaria, an overclass written, recent tax increases, demanding their return to prior levels. Well, I've just disabled the tax. Successful mission by Oleg Trumbeck. Fantastic. He's now in there, and you can see that that's a full stacker army. Oh boy, that'll be fun. 300 grenadiers. Nation, Württemberg has been destroyed. Intellectual advance, we now have national debt, yay. Um, we need to change that, I think, because we need to get that one. Let's see. Because the thing is, is we don't really use... The merchant houses. We don't really use... Uh, let's go for that one. And division of labour. So we might try and get like all these ones up the top before we start moving down to the ones at the bottom. So let's just make sure. Yep, yeah, it's still that one. Good. Now, workers on strike in Bavaria, of course. Recruitment. These guys here. Turning you into a nice -ish army. But they are going to stay there because they are looking after the designs of the Prussians. They're, of course, little Tatari. Now, let's send him up to there. So he's going to wander up to there. Construction reports, roads, so many roads, and the manufactory and farms as well. So that should hopefully improve the situation. Successful mission, we know about Oleg. And agent detected, Dimitri's been detected. So, and there's a little bit of recruitment going on. So, you can see we've been spending money okay. Money's starting to go down a little bit, so it's something we've got to watch for. Spain, Swiss... That's Batavian, Italy, and France, and these are all our allies. So, I think trade income is actually quite good, really, when you think about it. It's not something I want to lose, so I have to pick and choose carefully who I decide to twat in the face and when. Now, what can we build there? It's a farm that's already been built, so we can't do anything there. Um... That's in the process of being built. And that was a clearance, adding 200 wealth, so more money being added to the pot. Little guy on his uh, doodah there. More transition now. Another farm. Could be turned into a clearance, give us more money. Yeah, to double the, uh, the amount. Got that which can be turned into a supply post or into a market but we don't have the money for it at the moment because we've been buying troops and down here also you can see clearances has already been used and is being built so I would say that our little jaunt into Bavaria is, has gone well um, we have a substantial army and we are supported of course by the wonderful Austrian Empire. How long they remain wonderful is a matter of conjecture, but we'll wait and see what happens with that. And that, their secret society, you can build spies, how lovely. Um, plus one happiness, plus two happiness, all classes, okay. That's something to bear in mind, increase the happiness. What other options do we have here? A college. Yeah, see, so minus one happiness, clamour for reform, etc, etc. So I think we'll stick with the whole secret society gizmo. And down here, in Innsbruck, 
you can see them all going well and of course the lovely city of Venice now I think that's going to be it for this uh, this week's episode I keep pressing tab waiting for the overview thing to come up the damn that room too um, so I think that's where we're going to end it for this week we're building up this army under yeah we'll call him Bucks and he's going to be going in to attack the lights of Bucharest and areas surrounding places like that and then down to there so we might need a second army to get involved just to guarantee our success in that particular location so I think it's going quite well here for the Russian Empire and we shall come back at you next week with more Napoleon Total War we'll see you next time cheers everyone <laughs>